It is indeed charisma. Elementary, my dear Bleach fans, elementary. Now, you guys have definitely heard me say this from time to time. I do not have a soft spot for live action movies, but this one is definitely getting a pass because it seems to be doing well in each area. Byakuya, Renji, and Uryu have been revealed and they all look great. Now, I have noticed that some of you in the comments have been doubting my words and saying that I am constantly being positive on this movie because it seems to be so professional of me and that I am making excuses to help bring back the Bleach anime. So in a sense, you guys think I'm just defending this movie. In other words, some of you don't actually think I like what I'm seeing here. I'm here to put those suspicions to rest. Truth is, I love what I've seen so far with this film and the cast. It's absolutely stunning. My reaction was legit. I'm happy. Kubo's happy. Almost everyone is happy. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's quickly visit each of the newcomers. They put Byakuya in the live action movie, oh my god. Um, so, I don't know what's going on here. I was expecting Chad or Orihime to show up. Um, but we got Byakuya right off the bat. And that's something that's just really interesting. I don't know what's going on here. Um, because usually what you would expect. You would expect Chad or Orihime to show up. But we just instantly get um, Byakuya and... For some reason, he's in this movie, when, and we, we were expecting Byakuya in this movie. But let's be completely honest here. We didn't expect this. We didn't expect Byakuya or Renji to show up. But we did get both character reveals for the lineup cast. And that is something that's just very surprising, considering the fact that they don't appear in the Shinigami arc until the later episode. So basically what this suggests, the way they're being revealed as they are now, they're probably going to be playing a huge part in the movie. And that is just a huge guess of mine because they wouldn't just be showing up like this so early in the cast lineup for no good reason. They're, they're going to be playing a huge part in this movie. They're not just going to show up at the end of the movie and be like, hey, Rukia, we come to pick up your ass. And scene part two coming soon. And then the credits start rolling. No, no, they're in this movie for a specific reason. Th there's a reason why they have been revealed so early. So I'm guessing they're twisting the content a little bit to a certain degree where it pleases Kubo and they're still at, you know, a good standpoint where he is actually happy with what they're displaying. Because remember, this is live action, this is not the anime anymore, anything could potentially happen in this movie and we could see something different than what we saw in the anime and the manga. So we've got the live action Byakuya. This man's name is Takamasa Ishihara and he also goes by his stage name Miyabi and he is a Japanese singer, songwriter, slash guitarist, record producer, and actor. He is known for his finger-slapping style of playing guitar. I always knew, I always had my suspicions that Byakuya was going to be a tough one to portray in this movie, and I personally thought that they would alter him in some way, um, shape, or form, just like Rukia, but ever since he has been revealed, it's been nothing but mixed opinions from everyone. And that is to be expected. They gave Miyavi an exact replica of the original design of Byakuya, Ever since then, people have been wondering why Rukia didn't get her hairstyle. Now, to be honest, as long as this man plays his role right as Byakuya, I will have zero issues, I will have zero problems with this man, so long as he does it right. I truly do think they chose the right guy for this role. Look at him. He does look like Byakuya, and he does have the intimidation of Byakuya, and I think that is more than enough. Um, I just need to see some acting, and we'll be good. Okay, so next up we have our boy Renji Abarai being played by Taichi Saotome. And this guy also has a long history um, of movies. And he's also playing in another movie um, aside from Bleach this year. Um, it's called Nakimushi Shotan no Kiseki. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, he has his hands full. Um, I hope he does well. One thing that you guys really need to remember about me, for every single actor that I've come across, I have to see some acting. Solid acting to know what I'm dealing with here, to know what we are dealing with here so that we have a better picture, um, so we can discuss more, evaluate more, and take our thoughts and concerns from that point on. I don't really know this actor very well, but I think he'll do great considering all the past movies and television shows he's been in. He's even been in dramas, so he should be good. Um, if you guys know of him, then you probably know what you are dealing with already, but I, I am still in the, in the dark here, so... 
um, we still need to see that full trailer. Again, I keep saying it. We got, we got to get that full trailer for Bleach. And I got to say, again, they are staying true to the original stuff. Um, Renji does have his red hair and his tattoos look a little different. I swear I'm not imagining this, but the tattoos do look fairly different than what they do look like in the manga and the anime. And that's all right. As I said again, changes are going to be happening in this movie because it is live action. It is not the anime. It is not the manga. This is live action. Expect some changes to the character and possibly even the story. In this photo, Renji is in a striking pose, looking like he's ready to cut down his enemy, probably Ichigo. Um, we don't know. Maybe it could be a hollow. Uh, we we don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I like the I like what's going on here. I like this photo. Um, it's looking pretty great so far, and I give this uh, I give this actor a pass um, for for the moment until I see some acting. Um, so let's move on, shall we? I don't know about the rest of you, and I don't know how most of you feel about this one, but I gotta say, yikes, this looks amazing. What, you thought I was gonna say something bad? No, 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 no. This looks so good, I'm gonna give it an A+, plus because one, the actor actually does look like Uryu, and two, look at how amazing that bow looks. Look at the CGI on that bow. You guys see that, right? This is a spot-on choice, hands down, the perfect choice for Uryu. Like, they look exactly the same. You can't tell me that doesn't look like Uryu. And my god, look at that bow. His uniform, his shoes, his glasses, everything looks perfect. And I like the pose. Um, I'm not sure if he's fighting a hollow, of course. We don't know what's going on with these scenes. First, Renji in a dramatic pose, and now Uryu's in a dramatic pose. These screenshots could very well be from the actual first trailer that we're supposed to get later on. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. But yeah, anyways, again, you can see the CGI clearly in this screenshot, and it's so clean, and it's not sloppy at all. The actor who is playing as Uryu Ishida is Ryo. Ryo Yoshizawa. Again, it's a straightforward choice, and I love how the producers of this film have a strong sense in visualizing the actor and fusing them with the role that they are most suitable to play. And Ryo is a juicy choice for Uryu. I cannot wait to see how he will portray Uryu's vengefulness as a Quincy as well as his strategic ability in battle. Uryu is smart, so I'm deeply hoping to see a well-written script for him and not some overly hyped anomaly. So, uh, you know, this should be good. He better have a lot of screen time in this movie, and I truly do love Uryu's character. Um, he is one of my favorite characters in Bleach, so I hope they don't do him dirty. Anyways, um, that's it for the characters. It is not my wish to spend all day talking about the actors and the roles that I've never even seen in action yet. It is indeed senseless to hang on to just pictures. I will give a full discussion to you guys once the full trailer drops. Crossed fingers for the trailer sometime in April. You know, there's never really a heads up for this kind of information about trailers and stuff. It just comes out randomly, rain or shine, completely unexpected. But hey, it's cool that we finally got to see more actors for this movie. And I know I was a little bit late with this video, but I do apologize. I'm expecting Chad and Orihime to be next um, for the reveal cast lineup. And for God's sakes, let's hope they do not disappoint. Especially Orihime. Don't disappoint me. Onagashimasu. Anyways, I'm going to catch you guys later in the next Bleach video. If possible, I had hoped to end this without using this Bonkai. Finish him!